Yeah. Who, who? Speaking of which, did it just neigh in this episode? Know. I'm pretty sure I heard it neigh. I'm like, what? why did it neigh? When they were riding up to where the origami people had been, and they were playing for the gym people. Like, they were getting off. I could have sworn I heard it going, I was like, did it just neigh? Mm-mm. I don't I think so. I didn't neigh at all. Are you really holding it up on your phone to check right now? What's this place want? It, it winnies! It fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Story Panda. Today we're going to watch Ruby Season 9, Episode 9, A Tale Evolving a Tree. And that's in date. Baby Yoda's here. <laughs> Do you really hide that under the table between your legs just for that reveal? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so no no uh, dire warning about this episode and no warning at the beginning of the episode but uh, we've heard from at least one viewer that the pacing is weird so we'll see What's the, what does that mean that's okay your pacing is weird every day what and we live mean? with you so what it's okay it what does it mean by that <laughs> ask your mother apparently no pacing that's weird ask your mother apparently she knows because apparently mine is so I would have no clue what weird pacing would be David. Mm -mm. That's what it is. I don't understand. The way that the episode goes. Yeah, the way it goes, like just it feels it's like like this. Like, like it either runs too fast or too slow, or it just feels kind of off. So, uh, episode with good pacing feels like it tells the story well. Yes. Mm. A story with bad pacing might seem like it rushes through the story, or might feel like it's like okay, you started the story. Can you? Can you? Go somewhere with it? Why are we just sitting here? And weird pacing could mean it does both somehow at the same time. Possibly. Maybe it's like when we're in the supermarket and you're bored and you want to do walk fast. Yeah. And it's like swing you and then walk slow. And then swing you and then you walk slow. Yeah. So let's see. You guys ready? Maybe it goes between different things. Yeah. <laughs> It's the tree's point of view, and the cats, the rubies. Intro. I literally forgot again. Like every time I just kind of like build myself up knowing it's gonna be horrible that first little bit, but this time I genuinely forgot again. I think I've forgotten at least like seven out of nine episodes. Yeah. I don't know how to play guitar, but I'm trying. Yeah. Maybe it's like Alice in Wonderland weird though. Yeah, but then that makes sense. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe it's the point of the view of the two. door opened for Alex at the tree. Before she went back home, the girl had a great many questions to ponder. After all the lessons she'd learned, and the friends she'd made and lost, who had she become? Would she still be the same Alex when she went back home? The leaves of the tree rustled, and on the wind, Alex heard one more question. What are you? I don't understand. Alex, the pleaser. 
this now, Ruby? What does this place want? Look, Yo has was done with her, so. I'm sorry. I don't understand. They both had the same reaction to things going on, bro. You're mm -hmm. just saying. What did I do wrong? We can figure this out. There's got to be a way to get to the tree. Hello there. You appear upset. Would you be so kind as to tell me how I can help? Perhaps you are hungry? Huh? Uh, no, that's okay. If I can get you anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what I'm here for. What? What are you? We are the Genial Gems. And we have arrived here to clean up this beautiful land and create something wonderful and pleasing. I think you're asking too much of yourself. <laughs> We've been telling ourselves that failing means Might be like hate good. John all of a sudden but in this I episode. But I can guarantee even the best huntsman in history I feel very protective over me. Hmm. They were lost. But they were still incredibly brave. Even though he did nothing. And good. <laughs> he was at her what? when she was at her weakest. And his mom's killed in it. No, I, I know she found a hole, but are we going to see Ruby? It's not a place you go. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Let's not say the cat was right. I mean, he did take over Neo's body, and he is super evil, so maybe let's yeah. not give the cat that much credit. <laughs> it's a place you know. <laughs>
didn't expect you here just yet. I wasn't expecting to be here. Are you the tree? <laughs> you could say that. But that is a simplistic understanding of the tree and what it does. What's going to happen to me? Am I going to die? The only thing that can happen to you here is what you want to happen. The choice of what you become and where you end up is yours to make. Assuming the evil cat. Or a doorway. Is that? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, good! You made it! I guess your little plan to cast play it off. isn't working. Right? <laughs> You've always been the worst of the bunch. So Neil can't go through the door. No. She has no attachments to your world. Nothing to return to. She has failed me. Just like Alex did. Like Alex? <laughs> the cowardly, wretched girl whose story you've been foolishly following all along. The same girl that I followed to. Because she promised me she would bring me back to remnant with her. When in truth, she had no intention of taking me. Though after talking to the tree, she had a sudden crisis of conscience. Decided she wanted to fix everything she'd broken in the ever after, including poor Jean. And so Louis went. And at the very last moment, Alex didn't. What did you do to her? <laughs> what anyone would do with a broken, useless thing. You, you didn't, you, you monster! Hey, what did he do? I don't know. She's still here. Yes! All my work! It's not lost! Deep down, she wants nothing more than to return to Remnant and play hero. I just need to cut her out, and she will take me there! No. Whatever happens to Ruby is up to her. Not you or anyone else. Then I'll put you in the ground. Look at these lights. The souls that are moving on to whatever they become next. Do they choose what their next life will be like? Such concern for souls you don't know. Or is it for yourself? <laughs> That's just the cat being evil. Yep. I don't like the cat. Every story needs a good villain. And the best villains what make if, you hate them. What if Ruby comes out and saves her movie? I think it's up to Ruby what she becomes next. Yeah. I think that's the point what of the story. She, she comes out, she doesn't remember anything, but she's still Ruby. And then he takes over her. The only way he could take her over, though, was to grind her down. Was if she was broken. But when she's done...
doing whatever she's doing now, she should come out complete and whole and with a new purpose and hopefully feeling better. So because yeah. she'll have but been even, given the time to make the choice. Even if she comes out, he can't take over her because hers is incomplete. Her purpose was to become a huntress. And she isn't. Well, I think what he did is he broke her down so she felt like she didn't have a purpose. And that's mm-hmm. what let him take over. When Neo got her revenge, she no longer had a purpose. But if she comes out with a purpose, then he won't be able to take over her. Would be my guess. Why did it show someone with a ruby sign and, like, the ruby symbol and she was reading? Because they said she used to read stories. That was their mom. Yeah. Yeah. That was Summer Rose. Because that was Little Yang and Little Ruby. And she was reading Alex's story to them. Mm Mm-hmm. Band-Aid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a paper cut. Okay. <laughs> we'll get a band-aid. Joey's Let's get a paper cut from out of nowhere. <laughs> Julius is gonna grab a band-aid. Okay. Because it'll be easier for him to get than for you to go all the what way. What do you think she will become? <clears throat> we don't know. Well, the thing is, the same Ruby might feel just as bad as she was. But not the same Ruby. The Ruby before she was depressed. Wrong one Ruby. I think she was made to grow up too soon. Yeah. I think she went through a whole lot in a very short amount of time and she had to be something for everybody else. And so now she finally gets to decide who she is for her. And I think whoever she comes out will feel much better than she did because she'll have been given time to be herself. We'll see. She has to be. Ruby is Ruby and Ruby will come out as Ruby. That's what it's called Ruby. Well, she'll probably still come out as Ruby, but <clears throat> we don't know what she will feel her purpose is. Huntress, cause that's Ruby's purpose. But she feels like she's not ready. Maybe she'll come out as an older Ruby. Yeah, maybe she comes out as one. Well, um, we gotta wait and see. We don't know. Seven. <clears throat> we gotta see. We don't know. I don't know mm-hmm. who's up on seven and back. All we can do is wait and see, kid. Yep. And just like Blake said to Yang, whatever choice she makes, we have to accept it. She should have it at the end, right? She might, but she also might not because they said it seems like it's going to be a two-part episode. Yep. Are you ready? Is the second episode out? No. No. You ready? of the way it's like it's like there is no right thing i tried so hard and i I may have just done more harm than good i don't understand who i need to be because who i am right now she's not cutting it what if you could be anyone This whole time, I thought Alex made it back home and lied about everything that happened here. But you were the one who killed. Who lied! You were never a brave knight either. Ah, just more fairy tale nonsense!
did this belong to? It's not about who did it, but who could. Can you feel the woman who might hold it? The weight of who she is. She could be you. You could put any one of them on and leave Ruby Rose behind. It's all so heavy. It's the only thing I can feel anymore. And it never, ever goes away. The feeling of not being enough. And how would you measure enough? Before she went back home. Mom. The girl had a great many questions to ponder. What are you? What if she becomes someone else? That'd be weird. She comes out of Summer Rose and Summer Rose and she goes home. She she went in the past instead of present. That'd be really weird. I hope that doesn't happen to be honest. But that's because that kind of means that she's got to sleep with her own dad and then give birth to herself, which is just she doesn't have, just she awkward. Doesn't have a memory. When she I know, but still annoying if that was the case. It's just kind of like... Mm, this is, this is but see, wrong. But when it, does, when it did that, it showed Summer Rose. It's, yeah. She said mom. Well, maybe she'll have a conversation with her mom. And maybe instead of becoming someone else... Or maybe in that moment where she's teetering on the edge of becoming like her mom, she'll gain an insight that... No one is ever enough to be perfect. That we're all going to do the best we can. And sometimes the best we can isn't good enough. You can try and try and try and still lose. And people can still suffer. But that doesn't mean that... But that doesn't mean you stop trying. It doesn't mean that you're the problem. And it doesn't mean that you're not worth it. And it doesn't mean that just because you didn't succeed today doesn't mean you won't succeed tomorrow. Can I hold up a mirror so you can look at yourself while you say all of this? <laughs> look. It is easy with a fictional how. character. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm just saying, like, maybe it, like, just, no? Okay. <laughs> we hold a mirror up to you two while we're at it. Mine's more anxiety than depression. You have as much depression as I do. You just have anxiety on top of it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yours is much more prevalent. You're always thinking you're not enough. But I always keep trying. Still not living up to where I think is enough. But I keep trying. <laughs> What's up? Just a credit. Yeah, I know, but I was. So. Morgan. So that is her weapon then. Mm hmm. Yeah. See, and it looks like Ruby Mom and Dad. Doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it is her mom. And she always kind of looks like Ruby. Just kind of with a white cloak. Mm hmm. And that one, she doesn't have a white cloak. I think she does, but I think the inside of her white cloak is red. And so in that case, it's just pushed back so you can see the red. Because when Jin showed her her mom and the cloak was flapping in the wind, you could see the red on the inside of the cloak. Okay, yeah. It's literally the entire episode. I didn't feel like the pacing was off. I don't... I guess I could kind of see where the pacing is a little bit off. Just because... So. It feels like it was setting up to be this big reveal, and then the episode kind of ended. And... 
But that's not pacing, that's more cliffhanger. Yeah, but I don't know, I can kind of see how it's a little bit wonky. Part of me wonders if it would have been better to have this episode not have Ruby in it at all. And just be focused on Yang and the group and their fighting. And don't have it end where Zhang gets knocked off the the platform. Have them keep fighting until the moment. Because we all know Ruby somehow is going to come out. Until Ruby's about to come out. And then end the episode. And then have the next episode be everything Ruby's going through inside. But I can also see what people might be worried that would be too boring. Maybe having an action fighting episode. And then an episode where she's just kind of walking and talking. Some people might not like. I guess I can kind of see maybe with the pacing a little bit weirdish, I don't but know, I liked it. <laughs> I mean, I liked the episode because it felt like she was on her journey while they were dealing with everything else, as opposed to you see what they're going through and then rewind. Here's what she went through, which is what every show does. Which might 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 make people because I know that. The person who commented, I've been trying to, I actually managed to stay away from spoilers for the most part. I saw enough fan art popping up of Summer to figure that somehow she was factoring into the episode. Um, of course she did. It's really hard not to open up Twitter or Facebook. It's just, I'm sitting there. I don't ever open my Facebook or my Twitter. Because you're always on Instagram, which is why you have all the wrestling spoilers. But I like having the wrestling spoilers. <laughs> Me and Julius like talking about it. Like the fact that Bad Bunny is going to be on Raw next week and that it's filming in Chicago. So he is going to be in Chicago next week. So we are doing deep dives into Google to see if we can figure out where he would like go to like eat or something. Like I'm just saying. Are you that's going like what you did. to yeah, plan what... stock? St- I'm not. Stock, it's not stock. plan stock. It's like plan run into and just say hi nice to meet you. Maybe get an autograph. It's not stalking. Give You're me going an autograph. Google to figure See? out where he is. Well, I try googling it because sometimes they like say like, "Oh, Bad Bunny went to his favorite restaurant in Chicago, such and such," and then you're just like, "Oh, maybe I'll just happen upon that restaurant, and if he happens to be there, cool." But there was no, there was no article like that. I'll keep looking though. The tickets for Raw are sold out. And even if they weren't, what are the chances you actually get to meet Bad Bunny just because you go to Raw? You'd probably be in the nosebleeds and would never be able to see him from up there. I'm just saying. It's stalking. It's not! (laughs) Stalking is like... Well, maybe you should come to a Comic Con. (laughs) See? Wrestlers do it all the time. But he's, he's not. He's wrestling okay, probably. but he's like wrestling adjacent at this point. He's a musician. Okay, but he could still go to a comic con for me. He's a musician. He could go to a comic con for me. No, he can't. Wait, yeah. so that's better than you hoping he randomly shows up. But he's in movies that would be comic con esque. He's in Bullet. Like Train. Bullet Train. What are the movies he's in besides Bullet Train? He's in others, isn't he? There were a couple. He was in uh, Narcos, the one season. He was like a main character. Okay, so TV shows. What are the movies is he in besides Bullet Train? Do you really want me to start Googling things while we're recording? I'm just saying. Look, I am a dedicated fan. I will say though, that those aren't really Comic Con things. <laughs> Shut up, Julius. No one's going like. Cosplaying oh, yeah. as Narcos. What are you? I'm an OD. <laughs> I don't think that's what the show is, but okay. Well, no, isn't it about drug trafficking? So I'm assuming at least one person OD somewhere. What do you think happens when people do drug traffic? Like, I doubt it's about them selling it and then the people actually using the drugs. I'm assuming it's about the actual business and like the. Yeah, and then the one guy does stuff. the whole thing with the balloons up the butt. The I was going to say, leaking. I swear to God, if you say the balloons up the butt and they leak. I was going <laughs> to say that. Because I knew that's where he was going. House did Because it. that's the only... F- God damn it. That is I literally the it. only thing you know about drugs. Or Law and Order, did it? <laughs> anyway, back to the actual episode here. Before we go to your review, 
Is there anything you'd like to add about each of the episode, Julius? Um, didn't the last episode end in the house thing? Yeah, they were yeah. in the house and then we'd be fouled and shit. Like, I don't know. And I think because I knew ahead of time that someone said it was weirdly paced, it I like felt like it was weirdly paced because I felt like it was it was kind of fast, like kind of fast compared to like before. Do you feel like maybe you projected that onto it because of what someone said? I could No, see. I feel like it was, though. Because they already got to the tree, they already saw Ruby, and they're already... Well, I thought the tree kind of summoned their, them there. And there are... But that's what I'm saying. Like, they're already there. And the, Ru- they already found Ruby. Ruby's already almost done with her thing. They're, they're already fighting the cat with the door to Remnant open. Like, I feel like it's very fast. I feel like they're already, like... At the end, almost. Like, super No, quickly. like, they took this, like, long-ass trip, and then they were like, boop! Yeah. Yeah. I feel like compared to the rest of the season, they're just, like, right there at the edge. At the end. I think... Like, I guess I can see I that. I think the next episode, they'll be able to Like crazy food truck. A remnant. And when they do, they need to fix everything. Saying. That's bullshit. I know. There, I fixed it. Well, I mean, I'm assuming fixing things is going to be what the next volume is going to be about. How I'm going to be in Vacuo. I can't imagine Vacuo is going to be super excited about the population of Atlas and Angel just suddenly pouring into their desert. <laughs> okay. I want to know how long they're going to say that Ruby and them have been gone. Mm, that would be interesting like 50 years they were gone for like a half hour and they come out and it's like they're like right there still in the desert they're like oh you guys did make it through the portal and they're like no we didn't Jean what happened to you (laughs) I want to know if they're going to make Jean young again maybe that's what's going to happen maybe Jean has got pushed off the thing and he's going to hit his head on the way down and then he'll have you sucked into the tree, and then he'll come out as young John again. <laughs> he'll be like, what do you need? <laughs> I'm gonna say Can I that, not be so much older than my friends now? <laughs> I'm going to say that Jean's going to be like that. From now yeah, on. I think Jean is going to be I like that. Because I feel Jean like, like young Jean was just... Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. I, I know, was, right? I was going to no say... No one else was going to say boring, by the way. I was going to say <laughs> that he was very immature, and he like... Clumsy? Well, not just clumsy, but, like, he, he was kind of naive. He expected things to go a certain way, and now that he's older, I feel like he actually learns from things as opposed mm-hmm. to just blundering through life um, I said and then feeling bad. I think John is funny, but also boring. <laughs> he was boring. <laughs> he's boring and John's funny. like... He's funny and boring. <laughs> hey, my camera. Miles Luna is like offended. <laughs> we, we see him again at Comic Con. I'm like, oh, you're the girl who said I was boring. <laughs> He's not boring. <laughs> Either way, I think they're going to keep him like that. I really don't think they're going to change him. Does he get to bring the bunny with? That's a real question. My answer to that is probably not. That would be really sad. Why does he gotta lose everything? Why we gotta lose the bunny too? The jackals that he's riding. Damn. Who? Speaking of which, did it just neigh in this episode? Know. I'm pretty sure I heard it neigh. I'm like, what? why did it neigh when they were riding up to where the origami people had been? And they were playing for the gym people. Like they were getting off. I could have sworn I heard it going. I was like, did it just neigh? Uh uh I don't I didn't think hear so. Any nay at all. I don't okay, know what you're talking about. <laughs> let's see. I'm like, let's see. No work, bro. I was joking, okay? <laughs> Clara. Bro, they don't watch yeah. this. <laughs> I'm 
sure that he won't know. Because he is funny. Are you really holding it up on your phone to check right now? What's this place want? It, it winnies! It fucking did. <laughs> so is it you a bunny it? or a horse? But like, it didn't move or make any indication Yeah, it didn't that move that it was the one making the sound, it's but nice. what else would have made it? Please smell Ruby. What's this place want? Yeah, it didn't act like the sound came from it. I don't know. Like, look at it. No, I saw, I saw. This place it didn't make any indication that it was the one that made that sound. Yeah. Like, its ears moved, if anything. <laughs> its ears whinnied. <laughs> its ears whinnied. <laughs> I gotta get back to the end so that it doesn't tell me I need to continue the episode. <laughs> I literally pulled it up and everything. <laughs> that was uh, weird, though. Why did it whinny? Um, hmm. Whinny? Yeah, so it almost makes that noise. When it neighs, it's also called whinny. <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> Max so, is not Tara, happy with that. What's your opinion? Did you like the episode? <laughs> Are you going to just keep hiding behind Baby Yoda? Why? Come on. Come up here. Come up here. <laughs> Come on. We're filming. Tell us what you thought. Two thumbs up. You got nothing verbally you want to add? You haven't really spoken a lot this episode. I'm assuming she didn't like the uh, part with the three rubies when the cat was messing with them. I thought that was her favorite part. Mm hmm. I think she's worried about Jean. Oh, Jean got pushed off the edge. Yeah. The they say they imitate. Fun. They say they imitate sounds. Bunnies or jackals? Jackals. Jackalops. They're saying that they imitate sounds. What does that mean? They copy. Yeah, they copy sounds. I don't Apparently know. they also sing. Do they winning when they sing? No. I'm gonna tell you all right now that the minute we get <laughs> off of this, I'm gonna look up jackalope singing. <laughs> it said something about singing the well, cattle at night. So <laughs> we know what they're singing is. Because we saw the Pixar short. Oh God, David. <laughs> With the fluffy sheep guy, and then the jackalope bounding along, and then came all jackalope, and he was like, "Yo, you're naked," or something like that. Yo, you're naked. <laughs> Yo, you're naked. Once Yo, they just shaved the sheep, and he'd go like, oh, "I'm so naked." A million percent. Anytime anyone in this house is naked from now on, I'm gonna run up to them and be like, "Yo, you're naked," <laughs> and then just like run away. <laughs> well, you know I'm who's just gonna do it. You wanna know who's naked yeah, right I'm now? Naked. Max is naked. Yo, you're naked. Max. <laughs> Come here so we can all see your nakedness. <laughs> Yo, oh, you're, you're naked. naked. <laughs> he is not happy with you. No, he's not. Yo, all you're right. naked. Well, after devolving even further, I <laughs> think. <laughs> I think it's time to call it. I also enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. so. What is your favorite part? The yo, you're naked. If oh, you like you our content, us. like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> no. Ring the bell. And we'll see you guys next time. Ring the bell, ring the bell, ring, 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 ring the bell. <laughs>